Okay, folks, Captain Scott here today. Today, we're going to go out here on Watch Bar Lake, and I'm going to show you the 10 must-have things on your boat. Let's go put the boat in the water, and let's go show you these items you got to have on your boat. Okay, folks, we're out here on the Tennessee River in my Sea Ark boat, and today I'm going to tell you the 10 must have items to have on your boat. Number one is a fish finder. I prefer Hummingbird fish finders. Hummingbird makes a wide range of fish finders from, from smaller Helix 5s and 7s to use on kayaks or smaller boats to the Helix 12 shown here in the picture. As you can see, the Helix 12's got the big screen. Also has the side imaging and the down imaging. And this is the Helix 9, which I use just for the GPS. But the number one item to have on your fish on your boat is make sure you have a good fish finder. The number two item you want to have on your boat is a Lake Master card to go to your Hummingbird fish finder. As you can see here, you can see all the good detail, the ridge lines, the depth. But if you don't have your Lake Master card in your fish finder, this is what you're going to see. You're just going to have generic maps, no detail. you got to have this little Lake Master card. I'll show you a link where you can get one, but you can see, take the Lake Master card for your area. Put it in your fish finder. Voila, instant detail. Okay, the third item you want to have on your boat is a Minn Kota trolling motor. I have the Tarova here, but I prefer either the Tarova or the Ultera. As you can see here, I've got mine on spot lock with a remote control. As you can see, it's on anchor mode, but I can take this trolling motor, I can do control drifts, I can do spot lock, I can just do drift fishing. Or I can lock up on top of fish. If I spot lock on top of a fish, I can just put it on anchor mode and the GPS will lock it on. But you got to have a good trolling motor on your boat, and I, and I recommend getting the Minn Kota Tarova or the Minn Kota Otera. All right, and the fourth thing you want to have on your boat is a good dip net. This is the HydraWeb net from uh, Steve Douglas Monster Rod Holders. I'll put a link under where you get it. But it's really good for not getting your hooks and stuff tangled up in your net. It's detachable, so you can store it out of your way. You want to lay it down in the boat? I'm keeping mine detached this morning because it's just me. But the fourth item you want to have is a good dip net. The fifth item you want to have is something I use on my boat all the time is a good pair of Mustad needle nose pliers. I use this for di several different reasons. Cutting line, getting hooks out of fish, uh, bending stuff. But you got to have a good pair of needle nose pliers. Have them handy on your boat. I keep mine in a sheath on the side of the boat. That way I know where they're at. I keep a pair here in the front and I keep a pair in the back. So I got a fish on back here now, so I gotta go. Man, they are hammering us today. Another little blue. Another nice 
Got him on that high-end Demon Street Demon Dragon again. I'll put a link where you can buy these Demon Dragons. As most of you are aware, I used to own the company, but I sold out to Tackle Bandit. But I'm a believer in Demon Dragons, even though I don't own the company. And you can see we're putting fish in the boat this morning. Another nice little blue. Okay, folks, item number six you want to have is a Onyx personal flotation device. This one has a CO2 cartridge, as you can see here. This is self-deploy. You should always wear one of these when you're on the boat by yourself or if you got any clients on your boat that do not know how to swim. This thing just goes right around your waist. Snaps right on here like so. I'll put a link here where you can find these. But never be on the water by yourself without your Onyx flotation device. It could save your life. You got to keep in mind when you're out on the water by yourself, there's nobody here to help you but your life jacket. So make sure you wear your life jacket and always let okay, people know. Okay, folks, where you're number at. seven item you got to have on your boat is quality rain gear. I'm sponsored by Frog Togs. This is a Frog Tog Pilot 2 guide suit with the bibs and the jacket. It'll keep you dry, folks, when it's raining. Check out Frog Togs. Okay, folks, the number eight item that you got to have on your boat is a good set of knives. I'm going to show you here what knives I use. These are Dexter Outdoor Knives. I'll put a link where you can get them. This is a fillet knife if you want to fillet your fish. And this is a Dexter Serrated Bait Knife. Dexter Outdoors, you got to have a good set of knives on your boat. The number nine item you got to have on your boat is a towel clip. These are little commercial grade tips. I got these from Ben Roach from Drake Waterfowl. But these will clip on your jacket. If you want to clip it here, and then you click your towel to the other hook. If you want to keep your towel handy, I like to hook mine on my rod holders. These will not blow off going down the lake. But this is another number nine okay, item. Okay, the number ten item you got to have on your boat is you got to have a first aid kit. I think I bought this one at the Walmart. They come in several different sizes. This is just a basic first aid kit. It has seventy items. Everything from. Uh, antibiotic cream to, to bandages to band-aids uh, so make sure you have a first aid kit on your boat thanks i hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'll put a link to where you can buy all 10 of these items in the description of the video if you have any questions or comments feel free to email me at tennessee river monsters at yahoo.com or you can leave them in the comment section remember to like comment subscribe and you guys tight lines